Earth Home Inspired Songs. It came out of the sky by Credence Clearwater Revival. Oh, it came out of the sky, landed just as little south of Morley. Jody fell out of his tractor, couldn't believe what he'd seen. Laid on the ground and shook, fearing for his life. Then he ran all the way to town screaming, it came out of the sky. In 1969, with a historical moon learning, space was definitely a trending tropic. Credence Clearwater Revival certainly took advantage of the concept of the extraterrestrial and wrote a song about something coming out of the sky. While songwriter and lead singer John Fogarty didn't exactly define what it was that came out of the sky, concept, context clues the whole song tells the story about an unidentified flying object landing on Earth. While Fogarty doesn't exactly claim to have had a personal encounter with aliens, the song was inspired by the story of the UFO sighting in Moline. M-O-L-I-N-E. Illinois. I-L-L-L-I-N-O-I-S. Caught on film in 1967. Fogarty lays it, lays it, down that humans of varying, varying views and invitations of alien sightings and encounters. Just as aliens crave for meaning of things, when something comes out of the sky, scientists will seek a natural explanation. Religious figures view it as a divine sign from God, while Hollywood turns it into big budget movies and profits from them. First Stone for the Sun by Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix himself was a mysterious artist with a penchant, pen, penchant for an euphoric psychedelia that invaded his era. He wouldn't come as a surprise. He was a wildly avid fan of aliens and outer space. His fascination with the world began with his own experience of seeing the UFO outside his window when he was a young boy. Hendrix was sort of open about his own UFO encounters. He even told a New York Times reporter that he himself was an alien, saying, I'm a spiritual messenger sent from another planet. Even if it's true, or it might have been just drugs talking. A pendant for extraterrestrial was written on the mo- mostly instrumental track, Third Stone from the Sun, which featured an alien-like sound Hendrix pre- produced on purpose. It played at a faster speed. The track would sound like an alien voice in the background. It was actually Hendrix, and his manager's voice talking about Star Trek, another UFO science fiction reference. The title, Third Rock Stone from the Sun, reflects Hendrix's wide fascination in sci fi. It's also a reference to Earth as the third planet away from the Sun in the solar system. Nobody Told Me by John Lennon. The great John Lennon never shied away from his own UFO counters. He's gone on record a couple of times on the topic of alien life beyond the universe. In 1973, Lennon reported confessed it to a magician, a Uigeli, that he had visited by aliens in his New York apartment. Lennon even reportedly gave Le- Geller a golden object shaped like an egg, which claims to have given to him by the aliens who visited him. Another story of alien encounters happened in the balcony in Manhattan building in 1974. Then they said a spacecraft that was hovering above the New York skyline began slowly, become before suddenly vanishing into the sky. Then they claimed the photographs he took did not develop properly, and that's why he couldn't give any proof of his sighting. While there's no clear photo, there is a song that came out of his experience. In his song, Nobody Told Me, he sings the line, There's UFOs. Over New York, I ain't too surprised. For the artwork on his album Walls and Bridges, he drew a sketch of the spaceship he saw from his apartment, described it on the 23rd of August, 1974, at 9 o'clock. I saw a UFO. Starman by David Bowie. You can't have a list about UFOs and aliens without mentioning David Bowie. Bowie emphasised alien fascination as proven by his alter ego, Ziggy Stardust. Bowie's obsession with outer space was very obvious. In fact, he, he can even make David Bowie's own 
list of songs about aliens. There have been entire albums about UFOs, the most notable one would be 1972, The Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust. In the song Starman, Barry claims that his character Ziggy Stardust is a messenger to the aliens, to bring a, a message to hope to earth doomed youth through music. He drew his inspiration for several personal alien encounters, the most notable one with which happened in 1968, which he claimed to have at least, to have at least six to seven sightings a night during his UFO watching sessions with his, with his girlfriend. It was also reported that during the tour for Rise and Fall, Ziggy Sardas, Barry would look out the windows to check the skies, flying saucers while doing Interviews with reporters, Dave Bowie was an ignorant alien messiah, personified in a rock star. Silver Lights by Sammy Hager Before Sammy Hager became a red rocker, Van Halen, former singer, Tequila Magnet, Mexico club mogul that he is now, he is abducted by aliens, or he claims to have been. When he was just four years old, Hager said that aliens plugged in extraterrestrial technology. He's brain. He says, I was just lying in my bed when I felt something weird going on, like someone was tapping into my pet brain. At the time, I didn't know how to fucking explain it, but there was downloading, all while uploading. That's a simple way to put it. They were playing with new clothes, but it wasn't from our new record system. And then suddenly this type of connection broke. And I could actually see them go out to the ship, a beam of light, zap like lightning. For a second, there was an infinity of white. I couldn't move. And when it was over, it scared me nearly to death. I was also, I was at a spirit, so I couldn't understand. Well, it's certainly an experience that inspired a number of songs. One of them being Silver Lights from his 1976 album 9, The Ten Skull. The song takes talks about the story of a group of aliens visiting Earth. The alien in the ducks, only if some of them out of the population, all those remain fought for the broken bits. His entire personal account of the UFO his UFO account can be read in his, in his memoir read, written by Joel Sullivan. Alien Exist by Blink 182 Blink 82 was a massive were massive in the 90s naturally the fame they acquired so did their fortune. Guitarist and vocalist John, Tom DeLong's first verge as a rock star was buying his own computer to use one bizarre, one bizarre purpose. His own words, he said he wanted to buy a computer specifically to go into the internet and search UFOs. His wild fascination with the es- es- existence of extraterrestrial creatures from materialising a song aptly named Aliens Exist. The song was the first tra- third track from the band's third studio album, in the area of the state, Rela- released in 1999, Alien Exist is Dolan's ode to alien con- abduction of humans. Dolan himself claims to have encountered aliens that the government is trying to cover up on all sides of their existence. He even created a website on 2001 called Strange Times, all dedicated to alien conspiracy theories and p- paranormal sightings. This song may, may sound goofy, but Long's belief in aliens is anything but. A, oh. the best room by Modest Mouse. He took in to, to the decades of the 90s rock band Modest Mouse to release a single, The Best Room, but that's because conspiracy in the root of the song. Frontman Isaac Brooke wrote the song in 1997 and recently revealed the song is about his own personal encounter with a UFO. Brooke claims in, that in 1997 he was on a plane flying from Montana to Arizona. He witnessed the Phoenix Lights incident. Brooke recalls, The Phoenix Light was the most light, widely reported and noted UFO sighting ever. I was in a plane on a holding pattern. Well, that was going on. Yes, he, he didn't tell anyone about what he witnessed except his mother. He says, I didn't want to be that dude with the alien with the alien with the UFO. Well, two decades later, he told the world for his song, whose lyrics doesn't talk about UFOs rather than a hotel and he landed in after. 
which was surrounded him, which was surrounded him with police tape. Coincidentally, while they were playing at a set in the 2004 Fun 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 Fest, a large meteor appeared in the night sky above them in Austin, Texas. Zero Zero UFO bottom remains. When the meteorites hit the boat of neon lights, spaceships travel at the speed of light. A million stars in the sky. I have the queens on the alien side. This one was from the Rock Icons of Ramones, 1989, 11th studio album, Brain Drain. It's also the last of Ramones, Aaron D.D. Ramone, was involved in, along with their paranormal theme hits such as Pet Cemetery, which was written as a classic Stephen King movie of the same name, Zero Zero UFO. wasn't necessarily about the Ramones' own personal counter of flying spaceship and aliens. It talks about a real man from Idaho who witnessed an alien spacecraft landing on his potato farm. Ramones gave light to these tales, but they were lost by the public. Supersonic rocket ship by the Kinks. One of the Rolling Stones' greatest guitarists of all time, David Davis, has influenced many people, not only for his incredible music, but also for his beliefs in the new age. His personal counters for what he claims to be aliens. He reports that he has had multiple encounters of the fur kind in his lifetime. Started going public about his stories in the 1980s. He even claimed it was a terrible perfect connection with the aliens up into the day. Though he continues to be ridiculed to his own beliefs, a public se- teasing doesn't seem to deter him, he says, when asked about the UFO encounters. I've had several experiences seeing UFOs. It's really interesting. I saw them in North Devon in England, lights and zigzags on the skies. Then I, when I started to dig deeper into my experience, I understood I was getting communications, psychic impressions for aliens. Well, there must be an inspiration for the Kinks song, Supersonic Rocket Ship. His supersonic guitar playing must have also have something to do with his lifelong faith that extraterrestrial beings exist among us. Some Training Homesick Alien by Radiohead. After the ethanol of art quality of that radiohead, it's not surprising that they believe in aliens. The band's single, Subterranean Homesick Alien, from their third studio album, OK Computer, would be evidence of this belief. The narrator of the song talks about his dreams of being on board of a spaceship to be liberated from Earth to search for meaning of life, while life beyond the known universe. The lead singer and songwriter, Tom Yuki, says his writing of the song, Do you really hope to be on a spaceship? Why not? I believe there are aliens under the ground. I want to see them. I want to see ghosts. I want to walk on the street smiling, knowing that they're little green creatures with incredible large brains and big, beautiful black eyes that are filming us with their video cameras. In fact, there you are.